What is moral responsibility? If an agent is morally responsible for her actions, then those actions can make her the appropriate target of certain attitudes and practices. A morally responsible agent can be an appropriate target for what Peter Strawson dubbed the reactive attitudes. These include resentment, indignation, gratitude, and approval. She can also be the appropriate target for our practices of praise, blame, reward, and punishment. Moral responsibility, therefore, is the status of morally deserving praise, blame, reward, or punishment for an act or omission in accordance with one's moral obligations. And deciding what, if anything, counts as morally obligatory is a principal concern of ethics. It is important to distinguish moral responsibility from causal responsibility. One can be causally responsible for something, but not morally responsible for it. For instance, if you spill a glass of water on my computer, then you are causally responsible for the damage that ensues. You are also morally responsible, as it could be appropriate for me to resent you for not being more careful. If, however, it is my cat that spills the water, then the cat, though just as causally responsible for the damage as you would be, is not morally responsible. It makes no sense for me to resent my cat. Cats just are not an appropriate target for the reactive attitudes. It is fairly easy to see why the cat is not morally responsible. The cat is not a person, and only persons can be morally responsible for their actions. However, not all persons are morally responsible for their actions. For instance, children are persons, but are not generally taken to be fully responsible for their actions. But it is important to note that philosophers disagree about the conditions under which persons are morally responsible, about just what makes someone an appropriate target for reactive attitudes and practices of praise and blame.